What's up guys, Sarah here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about the newly announced or released or whatever uh, Tesla Model Y that they just had the big announcement and press release and everything for it last night with the full pricing and specs and all that stuff when it's gonna be available and all that. So I'm going to talk to you about that today. I'm sitting in my Model 3, so you know I am a fan of Tesla and I'm kinda of just gonna break it down for you, talk about it and see, you know, what it is let me know if you have questions down below if you have thoughts or if you're going to get it or you definitely don't want to get it like tell me your thoughts down below and i will respond to you if you are mean and hurtful i will probably just delete it okie dokie so tesla is doing it again they tell you the base price of thirty nine thousand dollars on the model y that's not going to be available yet they're not going to start production until much later if it's anything like the model 3 you are going to have to wait a long time to actually get the cheaper version if they even end up making it at all for those of you who don't know the model 3 was promised at 35,000 they couldn't quite get the price down i think with all the stores closing they will hit it eventually but so hopefully they do end up with the $39,000 mark for the standard version we will see so right now you are only able to get the more premium so they start at about $42,700 which has a long range battery all of that I would recommend that one which is the rear wheel drive that's going to give you the biggest range which is going to be 300 miles the other the performance and long range are only giving you 280. This one that I have is rear wheel drive and the long range, so I have 300 miles. You don't actually get that much. So for those of you who don't know, the battery is very different, unless you're doing tons of like stopping and starting and all that stuff. 300 is hard to hit. You'll probably hit, if it's anything like the Model 3, more like 280 on like the best time. Of course, you never wanna run your battery down all the way because you know, you can get stranded. But anyway, so let's just talk about specs and everything for the vehicles so the best time for a zero to 60 is 3.5 which is going to be the performance range do you really need that maybe maybe not like these cars are not meant to be performance cars so you can't like run them on the track for a long time they're going to end up breaking they can do it for a few laps but i personally think the performance is a little bit of an overkill we were going between the performance and the one we got for our model 3 and just decided for us, we don't need it. And the performance is about like $55,700. So it is a lot more expensive than the regular one. And just the long range, since I haven't talked about price for that, is $46,700. So if you want all wheel drive, you can go in and go for that one. I'm very torn. I am such an all wheel drive, like, let's go for it, let's go for it. We did not get the all wheel drive in ours. And I'm kind of okay with it if you live anywhere with snow and inclement climates anything like that definitely go for the all-wheel drive you won't get as long of a range but it'll still be fine and you i mean 20 miles in the whole scheme of things unless you do lots and lots of road trips and lots and lots of driving isn't going to kill you because you don't have to spend any more to charge it up it's only the percentage if that makes sense so you are not able to get the third row seats in the model y until later so you can only get the five seats um to start out with again tesla's <laughs> Tesla's promising you all these different things and then you're gonna have to wait a while to get them. So Tesla, while you're such a great company, very innovative, you do a lot of over-promising and under-delivering. So that's my takeaway from Tesla if you are looking at this. Again, I had to wait an extra six months from when we were told the model we would be receiving our Model 3. So I would be a little wary if I were you in getting your vehicle, depending on what you do, what you have. Once they get them rolling, like you'll be fine. Hopefully Tesla learned from the Model 3 and they'll just be ready to go and these numbers are actually what they have promised. So the third row seat, you're not able to get it until 2021. So along with the standard, all of that, which is, and the third row seat is an extra $3,000, which actually isn't that bad if that's something you want. I might recommend if you are looking at the Model Y for the third row seat, checking out a model, a used Model X, which will probably be maybe similarly priced. Um, depending what you get, how old it is, all of that stuff. And that's also going to come with free supercharging if you get a little bit older one because the original Model Xs and Ss all have free supercharging. So that is something that actually would I would recommend getting an older one. Of course, you have to deal with batteries and all of that if they start to go out because after time, batteries do go out and so you have to replace them. Allegedly, delivery is going to begin in fall 2020. 
So we have a year and a half to go before they start actually getting delivered. Again, the same thing with the Model S. Hopefully they actually will be start being delivered in 2020. And then the regular and seven seaters will be in the spring of 2021 or a standard and seven seaters spring 2021. So if that's something you're looking for, you're able to wait. It is rough. It is hard to wait for like a brand new car. We did it with ours and it is whew, whew, good fun. Wait, will I get this vehicle? Will I be looking at it? What are my thoughts? Because I do have a Tesla. I probably will not. Again, I would go for a model X over this one. This is a great cheaper option. It's, I mean, electric cars are great. They're great daily drivers. They save you a ton of money if you do a lot of driving, especially you can charge at home. As you can see, my I'm at home right now. So it's easy. You put the um, charger around. So I actually keep my Tesla outside, which you can, and the charger is all waterproof and all of that. I probably will not be going for the Model Y after the Model 3 debacle and all that time. I'm a little weary about waiting and waiting and waiting for it, especially because we just didn't, you don't know. And if you need a car, it can't be your only car. It has to be a secondary car you're getting. If you only have one car in your life, I probably wouldn't get a Tesla new, especially if the car you have, anything happens to it. There's not a lot you can do while you're waiting for your car that's going to be in sometime. So that's my tip for you. If you only have one car in your life, don't get a new Tesla until they are actually on the showroom and you can get them and you have a real like solid time of when they're coming. Yo, oh, I almost forgot to talk about the safety, security, all that stuff. The infotainment screen, which is going to be big and beautiful and nice, just like in the Model 3. Uh, technology is great. The safety is so great with the self-driving technology. I would really recommend it because it can save you. I've seen multiple videos online if you haven't just Google search Tesla saving, getting out of an accident, saving people, whatever you want. And there's actually a lot out there where the Tesla will go around and save your life in an accident, or it'll go for the best way to avoid a crash. Say if someone turns into your lane, the Tesla can kind of figure it out a lot faster than you can. I personally have had a couple incidents where the Tesla was able to react faster than I was, which is very nice. Very, um, it's just very good to know that your car is able to do stuff a lot faster than you because it doesn't have to think through it or see anything like that so all that basic features you can use your phone with the for the key all that stuff so same thing as the model 3 is going to be in the way okay let me know if you have any questions comments all that stuff down below if you want to see any videos on my model 3 because i haven't put any up because there's so many out there if you want to see mine let me know as well in the comments below and thank you so so much for watching if and i'll see y'all next time bye bye